Thank you all tonight, and I get to present on my awesome internship from this past summer. Those of you who don't know, my name is Megan Harper. I'm from Cali County and Murray State area, also known as the friendliest town in America. In addition to that, this summer I interned with Tap Logic. It's a farm software company located in Callaway County, and they have their software they sell all over the country. A little bit more about our company. This is a group picture. We all are very close. There's 25 of us. There's two offices in Callaway County, and we develop software for farm record keeping and for soil sampling. So uh, we also have two free apps that you can download from the App Store. Tank Mix Calculator and the Dry Grain Calculator are common apps a lot of farmers use to make simple calculations on the farm. Also, Ag PhD might be a more familiar app or program that you might use on your farm from the Hetzi Brothers. They publicize this app, and we actually created the app at Tap Logic, and we deal with all the customers that go along with it. In addition to that, we have two programs that we specifically deal with: is Soil Test Pro and Farm Logic. Soil Test Pro is a program that is used for soil sampling. You can go out to your farm using GPS technology, soil certain samples in your field based on a two and a half acre displacement or a five acre arrangement between the two points. And then you can derive um, solutions for how to better fertilize your land. Soil Test Pro goes into Farm Logic and it also can also be used to further manage your land so you can apply jobs to certain employees, you can also keep up with bugs that you find in your field and so on and so forth. All of our programs can be used on smartphones or tablets. You can see this is the Soil Test Pro app. We have the grid mapping and so you would go out to the farm and you would soil sample each one of those pop points. You would send the soil samples off to a research station. They would run your micro, your macronutrients on it, and the other information that you might want to derive, depending on how much you want to know is how much the soil sample is going to cost. Our app is free, and um, so you just download it, and then you'll pay for your soil sampling. Once you get your results back from the soil sample that we create, it'll tell you how much you need to fertilize to get a certain outcome, which is the cool part about the job. So based on the certain your identified yield of how much you want from a corn, you know how much you need of each one of those things, and then we can develop recommendation software. You can take that to your local co-op, co and it will go into the fertilizer truck, and based on where you are on the property and your GPS location, you will not over-fertilize or under-fertilize any location on your farm, which is great for both your back pocket and for the environment around you. My summer internship was developing a FFA fundraiser utilizing Soil Test Pro. So this summer I worked, I learned all about our company, I learned all about the soil sampling process, I learned about the row crop process of soil sampling and fertilizing, and developed a fundraiser to be used all across the country. Before I got there, there was a program called Learn and Earn. It was much less low key from what I created. And there was, they didn't have a whole lot of success with it. They had been to national convention about five times, and they had given away, I don't even want to know how many thousands of dollars of free things to a lot of advisors to get this program started. They had one chapter to do it, and it was 30 minutes from where our business was. And so they didn't have any success at all, and they were like, Megan, you have some background with FFA. As being a state officer, why don't you take a look at this and see what you can come up with. So this summer I recreated the whole program, which was sounds simple. It wasn't as simple as I thought it was going to be because I'm marketing to advisors, I'm marketing to students, I'm marketing to farmers on top of that, and then I'm also trying to get everyone else who's tired of looking at Soil Test Pro and the FFA fundraiser and the company to get on board with me and help me make this better. So I started out and I learned all about what we did with Learn and Earn, what worked well, what didn't work well. I talked to the advisor who was involved in the program and what he thought about it. In addition to that, I learned all about Soil Test Pro, and since I'm not from a row crop background, I had to learn all about row crops and how far we have gotten technologically advances since the last 20 years. Um, and so that took me a lot of time. My boss, who was on the first slide, um, was really great. He is the owner and CEO of TapLogic. He's sitting right beside me. 
he has an open door policy in the office, so if you want to talk to him at any time of day and his door is open, you walk right in. His door is almost always open unless they're on a business call or a Skype call for someone across the country. And so we would, he'd take me to lunch and say, all right, this is what we're going to talk about today. And he'd tell me all about why we soil sample in different locations, why you would soil sample in the middle and not on the outside border edge so that you can maximize what you're learning about the land. <coughs> It taught me a lot about the program as a whole. He also is a farmer. They have about 4,000 acres in Western Kentucky and in Illinois. So his son was involved in the company, but he didn't spend a lot of summer planting due to the rain. So after I did all of that and learned all about our product, then I also had to learn all about marketing techniques. So I spent a lot of time talking to advisors, a lot of time talking to state staff from FFA, I also talked to a lot of my friends from other states. So this is my time from everyone that I've met at national conferences and 4-H and FFA. I called them up and said, hey, I know that you now have a really great background in FFA. Tell me about five chapters from your state who would benefit from this program. I told them about the program. And when the program is implemented, I'm talking to advisors in about 16 different states across the country. You'll see the map in just a second. Once we did that, I wanted to more develop something so that the kids learned. Not that they learned hands-on experience. A lot of times when I was an FFA as a state officer, I saw, first of all, when I was an FFA member, I got yelled at every year because I didn't sell cheese and sausage. And Erica was in my FFA chapter with me, and she knows how that went. And in our chapter, it was really great because as long as you were winning competitions, our chapter was paying for you. And so, as you can imagine, you had to have a lot of money to pay for everyone's food, hotel, travel expenses, cost and fees. And so, we got in trouble if you didn't sell cheese and sausage. Well, with this program, there's not that problem. Um, kids are learning hands-on experience about precision, precision, precision agriculture. They're also learning about the horticulture side of things. They're learning about the row crop side of things, and they're also learning to use technology in the agriculture field. So it was a really great idea to begin with. But then I also had to develop lesson plans to go along with in the classroom. I also had to develop a certification plan with RNMF. So the kids get certified to soil sample before they go to the farm. So that builds their credit with the farmer and also is something that fits on their resume once they graduate. Once I developed the RMF certification, I also had to continue to do more research about plant soil science. What other things can we incorporate into the classroom? Your micro, your macronutrients, the pyramid, those types of things. The crop removal chart was also in that material. And then I had to start creating materials to actually pitch this program to advisors. So that was my summer. Um, I developed a pitch flyer that goes directly to advisors. After the pitch flyer, and I said, okay, I'm in. Now what? There's the next steps as to what you're supposed to do after you want to do the program. After that, they have additional resources they can use in their classroom. Also with RMF, we created curriculum to get used in the classroom. So that went along with that. Additionally, there's a business card to go from the FFA chapter to the farmer, and then there's a video from our CEO of the company that goes to the advisor as well. I'm currently in the last stage to pitch the program and implement it, and that's what I'm working on. Just a few things about the benefits of the program. For the kids, it's they get RMF certified, they learn about precision agriculture, they get to fundraise for their chapter, and they get hands-on experience out in the field, not just in the classroom learning. To add to that, they also get to network with farmers and they learn all about the soil curriculum and real life application, not just, oh, well, we're going to learn about the micronutrients today in class. They get to learn about why it's important that micronutrients are high in one area and not so high in another area. And we teach them about the chart with nitrogen. If it's too high, the soil can't absorb it. If it's too low, the soil can't absorb it. And so they learn all about that kind of stuff in the curriculum as well. For the farmers, it's way more efficient to soil sample than it is to not soil sample. And um, I spent a lot of time learning all about that from the soils, the sales team at TapLogic, and that is also limited into what the chapter will get to give away. In addition to that, they get to give back to the local chapter. It also can be a tax write-off for the end of the year. Additionally, there's a, obviously a communication technological gap between farmers and kids, and so you kind of get to bridge that and develop connections with the next generations, which every farmer loves to give back to FFA. Every farmer likes to see the next generation on their farm. And some would like to be a part of the soil sampling process, but that's even better because then they're just building more networks that way. For the advisor, it's curriculum, of course, the money aspect of it. 
and it's good PR. If you get kids out in the classroom, out of the classroom, in the farm, <coughs> raising money, developing with farmers, it helps all of your alumni from every standpoint. There's not a whole lot of lose-lose to the situation. I think everybody wins. This is a graph of the chapters and the states that I'm talking to about soil sampling. Um, the ties, I know chapters from every state, there's about five from every state. There's some states whose officers got really excited when they started giving me chapters, so they gave me seven or ten. And so I'm really excited about working on this program from here on out. And these are some of the flyers that I developed as um, I was working there. Are there any questions? Okay, thank you.